Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Buenas noches, profesor. Fine, thank you. Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay, let's wait one minute, all right, for the people that are logging in today, okay? Let's wait one minute. Okay, hello everybody, good evening. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me take the screenshot, voy a tomar la captura. Uh, I have a question for you here in the chat, okay? I want to uh, ask you a question here. There is, there are. Uh, you can, can you finish the sentence? There is, there are. Can you finish the sentence? ¿Cómo podrían completar esas eh, palabras para formar una oración? There is, there are. Yeah, podría decir, there is my car. Mm, no. <laughs> there is, and then you need something. There is some, there is, there is some, there is a lot. Then after that, you need a word. Necesitan algo como some, a lot. There is, there is. Okay. There is a guitar, there is a laptop, very good. There are some apples, yes, yes, very good. Right, esa es la lección que vamos a ver ahora. <laughs> there is, there are some, very good, excellent, good job. Good job. Okay, uh, remember yesterday we learned about this and that. This, that, se acuerda? Yeah. The, those. These, those. Right? Do you remember? All right. Very good. So, ya vamos a hacer una práctica con eso. Let's do attendance very quickly. Um, attendance. Uh, Freddie Emerson Melendez. Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Monica Present. Esther Olmedo. Present. Natalie Priscilla. Present. Lo, lo dije en inglés, ¿vieron? Priscilla, no dije Priscilla. <laughs> right, pero le va a pasar lo mismo a ustedes también. Natalie Priscilla Velasquez, present. Sí, Pablo present. Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Paola María. Present. Pavel Eduardo. Present. Rafael Antonio. Present. Rebecca Saray. Present. Rodrigo Antonio. <laughs> Rodrigo Antonio está ahí? Sí. Yeah. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez. Present. 
Ok, Rolando Eliseo Martínez. Present. Rosa del Carmen Polanco. Present. Ruby Abigail. Abi, Abigail. Present. <ríe> me, confundo, me confundo entre el inglés y el español, porque ahorita estoy pensando en inglés. Ruth del Carmen. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Merlos. Eh, Sandra Elizabeth Espinal, perdón. Sandra Elizabeth Espinal. Sandra Lisette Merlos. Present. Ok, thank you. Sergio Javier Díaz. Present, teacher. Silvia Raquel Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Silsa Saraí. Eh, Silsa Saraí. Ok, Tania Fabiola. Present. Tatiana Beatriz. Present. Tatiana Yamile Sánchez. Tatiana Yamile Sánchez. Tania Jasmine. Present teacher. Ok. Vanessa del Carmen. Vanessa del Carmen. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Ahí está. Verónica de Los Ángeles. Wilber Alexander, Wilfredo Alberto, Wilfredo Alberto Méndez, eh, Xochil Alexander, Present. and Yanira Marisol Barahona. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, recibieron la guía? Do you have it? Best Great. Teacher. Excellent. So today we're going to talk about yes or no questions with B and uh, prepositions. Solamente que yes or no questions with B, te vamos a agregar lo que aprendimos ayer. This and that, these and those. Okay. So we're going to do questions, but we're going to add this, that, these and those. those okay. These and those. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Eh, voy a dejar de compartir solo para hacer la presentación visual. Okay, very good. So if you can look at me, right? Eh, we use this and that to talk about singular objects. Okay. For example, pen. Singular, right? Pen. Aquí no tengo dos o tres o cuatro. No, I only have one. Okay. So if it's in my possession, if it's in my hand, I say, ¿Cuál uso? Si está en mis manos. ¿Cuál uso? This or that? This. 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 Very good. This. This is my pen. Okay. Si estuviera lejos. That. 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 My pen. That. That is my pen. Excellent. Very good. Now, if I have two objects, right? Dos de cada cosa. Let's say, for example, uh, I don't know. Do you know how your to say headphones? It? Your headphones, teacher? Yes, yes. I just want I want to do a different object, right? Un objeto diferente para que vayan aprendiendo. How do you say this in English? ¿Cómo se le dice esto en inglés? <laughs> Paper clip. Paper clip. Paper clip. Uh -huh. Paper clip. Right? Very. Paper clip. Ya aprendieron algo nuevo, right? En la oficina. <laughs> Paper clip. So if I have two, I say these I are my paper clips. These. These. Right? El, el que suena como una Z y una E. These. These, these. these are my pen. Uh, these are my paper clips. Si estuvieran lejos, allá en la mesa, I say that uh, those are my paper those. clips. Those. Those are my paper clips. One those. more time. These are my paper clips. These are my paper clips. No, are. These uh, are. Mm -hmm. These are. Right? Usamos el verb to be plural. Are. These are, are. my paper clips. Si estuvieran lejos, those, those are my paper clips. Are my paper clips. Very those. good. Excellent. Yes, these. Okay, very good. And I can use it to, to talk about different things, right? We can learn uh, different objects. Uh, this is this is my gla glasses. This is cases for my glasses, right? 
uh, I can use my cell phone. This is my cell phone. That is my cell phone, right? Uh, let's say wallet, wallet. This is my wallet. This is my wallet. That is my wallet. That is my wallet. This is my flashlight. That is my flashlight, okay? Very good, right? So recuerden que hicimos eso ayer, right? We use that, okay? All yes. right. Any questions? Preguntas sobre eso, el uso de this and that, these and those. Okay. Very good. ¿Cómo se le llama? What's the name of those words in English? Demonstratives. Demonstratives, demonstrativos, right? Cuando se está mostrando algo, right? Very good, excellent. So now we're going to use this and that, these and those, the same words that we learned but we're going to use it for questions in the verb to be, okay? For example, me encuentro algo en el piso, right? En el salón de clase vengo yo y me encuentro algo. Is this your cell phone? Is this your cell phone? Are these your glasses? Are those her shoes? Si yo me encontré algo, ¿verdad? Quiero preguntar de quién es, a quién le pertenece, right? Are these your glasses? Are those her shoes? Okay. Very good. So, ¿cuál es la estructura? Verb to be. This, that, these, and those. Right? El uso del verb to be corresponde a estas palabras, ¿verdad? Recuerden, ¿verdad? This and that is singular. These and those are plural. Is and are, so remember. And then we use the positive adjective. Yours, hers, his, their. And then we use some kind of compliment. Is this your cell phone? Okay, very good. Question? So, ¿cómo, eh, ¿cuándo puedo usar esto? Para preguntar si esto pertenece a alguien, ¿verdad? Ok. Let's do the practice together. Choose the answer that fits. Ok. Number one. Blank, these are your jeans. Are these your jeans? Correct. Are these your jeans? Jeans es plural, ¿verdad? Number two, are blank your books over there? Are those, are those, are those your those, books over there? Are are those, book over those. there. Algunos dicen this, otros dicen those. La, the those. correct answer, pero okay, no se ve. The correct answer is those. ¿Por qué? Those. Because I say over there, allá. Right? Están yes. lejos de, están lejos. Over there. Over there, can you see? Ah, yeah. Those. Number there. three. I put blank pencils over there. I put those those pencils over mm -hmm. there. Very good. I put those pencils over there. Those. Number four. Blank. This your cell phone? Is this? Did your Is, cell phone? Correct. Right. I need the verb to be at the beginning. Right. Is this your cell phone? Number five. Is blank your wallet under the table? Is that yeah. your wallet? That. Is that? Is that? Is, is that, that your, wallet? your wallet under the table? Right? No la tengo en, la poses en mi posesión, sino que está abajo en la mesa, right? Is that your wallet under the table? Okay. Yeah. Questions? Preguntas? Questions about the use? Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Mm -hmm. este, no sé si hay alguna diferencia entre next to y beside, porque yo vi eso eh, en una de las eh, páginas que usted nos envió. Eh, sí, next to, bueno, son bastante similar, son preposiciones de objetos. Next ah. to. to. Mm -hmm. Besides. Se puede, ah, o sea, que se pueden usar las dos? Eh? Uh -huh. Se pueden usar las dos. ¿no? Son preposiciones de objetos. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Thank Next you. Two. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Okay. Questions? All right. Very good. So I have some grammar exercise that we're going to do, right? Vamos a usar eh, la gramática, vamos a hacer unos drills y después vamos a hacer una actividad de speaking. Uh, como siempre, ¿va? So let's use these and those. Okay. Van a completar ustedes acá, lo van a hacer en grupo, right? Number one. Uh, aquí hay dos partes de la oración. Those are footballs. Okay. Blank is a football. Singular. Singular. Is. This. Uh -huh. it, you can change it. You can say that is a football. También puede ser this is a football. Okay. Pueden encajar. Ambas. Right. Very good. Uh, all right. Very good. Number two. These are cats. That is a cat. That is a cat. Okay. That is a cat. Mm -hmm. Very good. ¿Verdad? Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque me estoy basando, estoy viendo el verb to be, ¿verdad? Aquí es plural y aquí singular. Okay. Singular, plural. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, very good. So, eh, pueden variar, puede haber más de una eh, respuesta, pero siempre sería con el uso del verb to be correct. <clears throat> ok, eh, questions? So, vamos a trabajar esta, ok? Eh, son eh, only 10 questions, right? Uh, let's, let's do it in five minutes, cinco minutos, right? Para terminar este en grupo. Um, I think we, we can do it. Uh, Le voy a dar un tip. Si están trabajando en grupo y quieren eh, facilitar un poquito eh, todo y tener una mejor experiencia aquí con la plataforma de Zoom, una persona puede compartir pantalla así como yo hago. ¿Ok? Eh, creo que con algunos compañeros les enseñé a hacer eso, ¿verdad? Si alguien está en una laptop, en una computadora, lo que pueden hacer es compartir esa pantalla para que el resto del grupo pueda ver su, el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Y así pueden contestar juntos. Si quieren trabajar de esa forma, no hay problema. Ok, so five minutes to finish that worksheet. Se la voy a poner también en WhatsApp, ahí la voy a poner. Let's go to groups, okay? And then we'll return in about five to six minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, hold on. Okay, group of the tres, three.
Excellent. Number two, that. Excellent. Number three, Sochin. Ahorita. These are cats. Y sería, that is a cat. Ok, yo voy con la tres. Uh, these are kit. And this is a kit. This is a kit. This is a kit. This is a kit. And, um, those are cars. Those are cars. Behind the tres, what is it? That. This. Uh, these are kids. That is a kid. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Those are cats. Cat. That is cat. These are kites. This is a kite. Those are cats. That is a cat. Those are Robert. That is a Robert. These are dolls. That is a doll. Dogs are bats. That is bat. These are jump rope. That is a jump rope. These are bicycles. This is a bicycle. Dash are lion. That is a lion. Those are football. This is a football. These are cats. Dog is cat. These are kites. This is a kite. Those are cars. That is a car. Are robots. That is a robot. Those are dolls. That is a doll. Those are bats. That is a bat. These are jump ropes. That is a jump rope. Those are bicycles. That is bicycle. Those are lions. That is a lion. Those are football. That is a football. These are cats. That is a cat. The, these are kites. This is a kite. These are Okay, questions? You finish? No. Yes, teacher. All right, you finished that, the exercise? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Any questions? I'm going to do that. Preguntas? No? Good. Teacher, el número dos, como usted puso that says that, that, entonces nosotros, como dijo que no importa, podría ser this. Sí, en realidad se puede completar con, con cualquiera de las dos. Creo que lo que el ejercicio quería era que usaran el equi equivalente, solo en singular. Sí. El equivalente de these are cats. These significa que los tengo en mi posesión, right? Uh -huh. Sí, está bien. Sería, that this is a cat. Sí. Uh -huh. Correct. Gracias. Okay. Bye, bye. Okay, very good. Questions about the exercise? No, right? Una pregunta. Ajá. Básicamente lo que hicimos fue cambiar el, el those por el that y el this por el this. Yeah. Sí, prácticamente porque estaba en plural, solamente que tenían que encontrar el equivalente en, en singular. Uh -huh. Se nos causó un poco de confusión que en el número uno se había dicho que se podía usar that o this. En realidad, Rodrigo, tú puedes usar cualquiera de las dos. Se completa la oración usando las dos. This or that. Pero eh, creo que el ejercicio te, te quería que buscaras el equivalente a lo que estaba diciendo antes. ¿Cuándo usar uno y cuándo usar el otro? Bueno, tú sabes que eh, eh, cuando está cerca a algo, por ejemplo, aquí estaba, ¿eh? those are footballs. Those significa que está lejos de mí. No lo tengo en mi posesión, right? Okay. Entonces, ¿cuál es el singular que significa que está lejos de mí? That. 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 Uh -huh. Correct. El singular. That. Uh -huh. Correct. Uh -huh. Pero también... La gramática te permite terminar la oración también con yes. No está mal. Solamente que el ejercicio pedía que buscaras el equivalente. Right? ¿Entiendes? Yes, ¿Entiendes? Yes, yes. uh -huh. ¿Entiendes, Rodrigo? Entiendo que dependerá de la circunstancia. Ajá, correct. The, this significa que the, lo tengo en mi posesión, right? These are cats. Lo tengo en mi posesión. So, ¿Cuál es el, el equivalente singular cuando tengo algo en mi posesión? This. This. Right. Very good. So, podían hacer eso, ¿verdad? All right. Very good. Lo más importante, Perfecto. quiero que entiendan plural y singular, ¿verdad? Y cuando algo está en mi posesión, this. Cuando algo está lejos de mí. All right. Okay. Very, very good. Let's go to the next exercise. Okay, now, hemos aprendido todo con this and that, right? Para repasar entre la guía de ayer y ahora, aprendimos, right? Uh, por ejemplo, this is my cat, okay? Possible, is my cat? right? Aprendimos también negative. This is not my cat, okay? Aprendimos negative también. Aprendimos a hacer preguntas también, ¿verdad? Is this your cat? Right? Is this your cat? Very good. Pregunta con is and are, que son yes or no questions. Ahora okay. vamos a aprender cómo usar pregunta con WH. Right? For example, where uh, are the keys? Okay. Where are the keys? Very good. So, si ustedes ven algo, toda la estructura que estamos aprendiendo siempre tiene estas cuatro eh, 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 formatos. Positive, negative, questions, questions con yes or no, right? Yes and no questions. Y WH questions. 
Casi todo tiene el mismo formato, ¿verdad? Doble es cuestión. Uh -huh. okay. Casi todo tiene lo mismo. Ok. So, igual, ¿verdad? Este, creo que hay un video donde les enseña a hacer WH questions con el verb to be. Ok. Eh, vamos a ver ese video por si ustedes no lo han visto. Sería bueno solamente tocarlo para que todos veamos dónde estamos en la plataforma. Ok. Eh, ¿Dónde están ustedes? Where are you in the platform? In my, in my house. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo sé, pero está section one. No, section one ya la terminamos. Section two, three, four. Section three. Okay. I, I am in, four, in section three. Section three. Okay. Four. okay, very good. So, Yo, estoy, yo, estoy, yo voy a considerar que yo estoy atrasado un poquito. No atrasado, sino que voy un poquito más lento, ¿verdad? Obviamente porque ustedes pueden trabajar. Yo lo que tengo que hacer es asegurarme que toco los, casi todos los temas, ¿verdad? All right. So, adelántense, ¿verdad? No vayan a mi paso porque yo voy bien despacio. Y eso es para poder incorporar la mayoría de temas posibles. Okay. Dicho, yo espero pero mejor así. ¿Perdón? Es mejor así, le digo, que, que vayamos así, porque siento que en la plataforma aprende más uno, y aquí lo ven a aplicar unos en la clase sí. nada más. Exacto, aquí es para aplicarlo, correct. All right, very good. So, aquí está la uh, uh, yes or no questions with the verb to be, right? So, yo sé que algunos se han adelantado, algunos ya están en la cuatro o cinco, so, solo para como refrescarlos un poquito, ¿verdad? All right. Yeah. Hi, everyone. That's right. In this class, you learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Okay, very good. Okay, let me stop the conversation here so we can illustrate the questions that we have, right? So, uh, vamos a aprender WH questions with the verb to be. Where are my keys? Okay. Where are my keys? Okay. Este tipo de pregunta ya lo vimos. Okay. Are they in your purse? Que son preguntas con el verb to be. Simplemente, ¿verdad? Yes or no questions con el verb to be. Are okay. they in your purse? Okay. Yes. Very good. They are gone. Excuse me, are these your keys? Okay. Esto es lo que aprendimos ahorita. Right? Are these your right? keys? These and those, ¿se acuerda? Es lo que aprendimos ahorita. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solamente que yeah, aquí yeah. están en, en, en questions, right? Usando el verb to be. Are these, are your, these keys? your keys? For example, is this your cat? Is this your sweater? Are those your shoes? ¿Verdad? And then you have another type okay. of question. Okay. Is this your wallet? Is this your wallet? Okay. Very good. So, ese tipo de pregunta ya lo hicimos, mm -hmm. right? Is it, is it not... Aquí estoy usando these. No, Aquí estoy usando not... this. Right? To talk about that. So, lo que es nuevo es... Esta, ¿verdad? Eh, la primera pregunta. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Esta. Right? So that's going to be the new question, right? So eso es lo que vamos a aprender. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of pocket? Pocket? Eh, mi bolsillo. My pocket. Thank you. Very good. So we're going to learn this, right? We have WH question. Plus the verb to be, plus a my, your, lo que es un possessive adjective, okay? 
and a complement. Okay? This is information questions. Where are my car keys? Okay, very good. So we're going to talk about that today. Let me go ahead and uh, stop sharing. Okay, regresando a la guía, right? This is what I have, right? WH plus the verb to be plus the complement. Where are the car keys? Where is the book? Where is your brother? Where is your boss? Where are the glasses? So we can use questions, right? Now, este tipo de pregunta que son WH, tengo que dar información, right? No puedo responder con sí o no. I need to give information, right? Okay. Questions? Right? Where are the keys? ¿Dónde están las llaves? Where is the book? ¿Dónde está el libro? Si fueran libros, entonces tendría que decir, where are the books? Where is your brother? Where is your boss? Se le puede agregar un posesivo también, right? Referirme que esto pertenece a ti o esta persona tiene una relación contigo. Where is your brother? Where is your boss? Where are the glasses? Okay. Questions? How to do it? All right, very good. So we're going to use that and we're going to use uh, the vocabulary in section 2.1. The vocabulary here was prepositions, right? Preposiciones, tómenlo como vocabulario, aunque tiene su aplicación gramática. In. In front of. Behind, on, next to, under, okay? Definition in Spanish, in, quiere decir adentro de, right? In front of, enfrente de otro, otra cosa, behind, atrás, on, Encima de. Next to. Es la que preguntaba Pablo, ¿verdad? Al inicio de clase. Él preguntó si besides es lo mismo que next to. Yes, correct. Es lo mismo. Next to. O puede decir también besides. Okay. Under. Abajo. Okay. Very good. Questions? Questions? ¿Cómo digo que este, este, significaba next to? Next to es a la par de. Okay. Um, otro sinónimo es besides. Besides. Okay. So, puedo usar la estructura que aprendimos ahorita. WH questions with the verb to be. Where are the keys? You can say the keys are in the box, okay? Very good. Okay, so let me stop right here. I just want to do a little presentation. Okay, I want to ask you guys. Um, no tengo una cajita así perfecta como esa, but maybe I can uh, do a presentation for you guys, okay? I'm going to ask you a question, all right? Where is the paper clip? Where is the paper clip? Next door. In front of. In front of. In front of. In front to. To the last case. Right. Yes. Digamos que es una cajita. <laughs> right. Uh, where is the paper clip? The paper clip. Paper clip. In front of. In front of the box. Of. The box. So I'm going to pretend that it's a box. In front of the box. Okay. Box. Eh, glass no. cases. Glass cases. Glass cases. Glass cases. Okay, but 
ejemplo, no tengo una cajita así perfecta. Digamos que esta es una cajita como la que estaba ya en la foto. Where is the paper clip? Where is the paper clip? It's next to the box. The paper clip. Next to the box. Next to the box. Very good. Pueden apagar sus micrófonos, por favor. Ok. Eh, bueno, eh, sí y no, porque quiero que respondan también, Yamilet. Quiero que ellos puedan también responder, porque estoy evaluando también. Pero es que casi no lo escucho a usted. Ok, all right, very good. All right, les voy a preguntar a una persona por eh, una persona a la vez, ok? Very good. Rafael, where is the flashlight? No sé si puede ver. Where is the flashlight? It's behind, behind the box. Very good, Rafael. Okay, excellent. Jamilet, where is the flashlight? Where is the flashlight? Jamilet? Hello, Jamilet? <laughs> okay, very good. Pavel? Hi, teacher. Okay, where is the flashlight? Answer. Okay. The flashlight, no, pero digan la oración completa, no solamente la mitad de la oración. The flashlight is in the box. Very good. The flashlight is in the box. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another object. Another object that I have here. Where is my cell phone? Uh, let's see, uh, Sergio, Javier, are you there? Where is my cell phone? Where is the cell phone? Behind. The cell phone is behind the box. The very good. Box. Yes, very good. Oración completa, right? Por eso es, queremos usar el inglés lo más que podamos, right? So complete sentence. Okay, Tania, where is the box? I'm sorry, where is the cell phone? Sorry. Where is the cell phone? Tania, Tania, Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the cell phone are are on the box. Yes, correct. All right. Solo un error. ¿Por qué usaste are? Perdón, perdón. The cell phone is. Yes. Yes, perdón. Yes, um. yes. R is plural. All right. Excellent. Very good. So I want you to practice this exercise, okay? I want you to show your uh, partner. Pueden escoger una cajita o, I don't know, a, a bag or whatever you have there, okay? Lo que tengan ahí a la mano. Show them different objects and tell them, where is the pen? Where is the cell phone? Where is the pencil? Where is the book? Show them different objects, okay? Ask the question. Usted haga la pregunta y ellos van a rep responder en oración completa, okay? Very good. Questions? Okay, let's go to groups. Okay. Questions? Hola, hola. Oh. <ríe> hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Quién empieza? Okay. Tengo esto acá, así que vamos a hacer que como que esto es la cajita. <ríe> está bien, está bien. Where is the pencil? The pencil. Como encima. The pencil is on the box. Mm -hmm. Where is the pencil? The pencil is next to the box. Uh, next to the box. Where is the pencil? The pencil is behind the box. Um, ¿Cuál sería la otra? 
Está dentro. Where is the pencil? The pencil is in, in, on. No, on in. sobre. Sí. On the box. In the box. box. <laughs> <laughs> y, y ahora. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer de caso que esta es la cajita. Vamos a ver. Where are the where is the pencil? The pencil is on the box. Where is the pencil? The pencil is next to the box. Next to the box. Okay. Where is the pencil? The pencil is under, under the, the box. box. Where is the pencil? <laughs> para, pre, para aprender los nombres, ¿verdad? Yeah. Where, where? where is my cell phone? It's on the cell phone. Uh, the cell phone is on in the in the box or in the bag. In the box. What is the pencil? They is the pencil next to in the box. The pencil mm -hmm. is. Se te olvidó el verb to be. You need uh, is. Yes. No, <laughs> okay. 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 Where is the pencil? On the box. It's on. It's on in the cell phone. Um, Orlando, where is the pencil? No, miro. No se mire. The pencil is under the cell phone. Okay. Rolando, where is the pencil? The person on in the cell phone. Okay. Fabiola, where is okay. the pencil? The pencil is behind the cell phone. Oh, behind the cell phone. Rolando, where is the pencil? Mm, no lo miro. No puedo ver. Where is okay, the pencil? Okay. Ah, estaría next to the pencil y next to the cell phone. Viola, uh, where is the pencil? The pencil is under the cell phone. Okay. Boy, John. Rolando, where is, is John. Where is the where is the eraser, Fabio? Eraser is next to the box. Rafael, where is the eraser? The eraser is under the box. Okay, Fabiola, what is the eraser? Eraser in the box. Uh, Rafael, what is the eraser? The eraser is in front of the box. Fabiola, what is the eraser? The eraser, eraser is under the box. Good job. Excellent. Teacher, <laughs> where is the pencil? <laughs> the, the pencil is pen. under. The pencil is on oh, the pen. Yes. No, it's not a pencil. It's a pen. The pen is under the cell phone. It's a pen. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good job. Good job.
<laughs> Thank you. Okay, hello everybody. All right, were you able to practice? Were very you good, able to practice? teacher. Very good, okay. teacher. Good, good, very good, right? De eso se trata, right? To apply what you learned. Okay, uh, we don't have too much time, but I want to give you this, uh, something that you can do for homework if you want to practice this topic, uh, uh, the prepositions a little more. Si quieren practicar este tema de proposiciones, you can do the exercise. Eh, ya no tuvimos tiempo, pero era una worksheet. Um, so you have under, on, in, behind, besides, in front. Besides es el equivalente de next to, right? So uh, look at the objects there in the kitchen and then complete the sentence. Okay? Complete the sentence, right? Es un ejercicio que pueden hacer, something extra. Um, no me lo tienen que mandar, si no es para que ustedes practiquen. And then um, you can do this also, okay, más. Okay, so you can practice uh, the prepositions more, the same prepositions that we learned, okay? Okay. All right, let's do attendance. And then we're almost finished. Question. Questions, yes? Yes, I have one. Um, ah, no, ¿Cuál es el significado de into? Que lo he visto bastante parecido a in. Mm -hmm. Fíjate que into, eh, yo lo he escuchado eh, cuando alguien quiere describir algo que, que le motiva, que lo apasiona o que le llega. Por ejemplo, um, I am into martial arts. I am into cars. I am into rock music. Right? Yo le he escuchado ahí, into. Ok. Into también quiere decir adentro de. Ok. Similar to in. Ok. That's what inside. Mm, yes, in, solo que inside is uh, maybe inside a, a structure. Adentro de una estructura es inside. Como inside my house, inside my, uh, inside the building. So that's where I've, I've heard that preposition. Es la preposición que se dice into. Okay, very good. Let's do attendance. Uh, Freddie Emerson, it's not here. Um, algunas personas, aunque pues ya no tienen lo suficiente para lograr la meta de asistencia, siempre Insafor lo deja acá para que Después la persona no diga, ah, aquí Insafor me sacó del curso. No, ¿verdad? Aquí le dimos el chance de estar aquí todos los días, pero no quiso. Freddy Emerson. Eh, Mayra Roxana. Present teacher. Ok. Mónica Esther Olmedo. Present. Eh, Nathal, eh, Natalie, <ríe> lo, lo quiero decir en inglés o en español. <ríe> Natalie, I'm going to say it in English. Natalie Priscilla. Present. <laughs> yeah, escuché su nombre en inglés, right? Natalie Priscilla. Uh, Pablo Alejandro. Present teacher. Paola Maria. Present. Pavel Eduardo. Present. Rafael Antonio. Present. Rebeca Saray. Present. Rodrigo Antonio. Present. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez. Present. Rolando Eliseo. Present. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ok. Eh, Ruby Guardón. Present. Ru eh, Ruth del Carmen. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Espinal. Eh, Sandra Lice Merlos. Present. Sergio Javier. Present teacher. Ok. Silvia Raquel Rodríguez. 
present. Tania Fabiola. Present. Ah, perdón, present. Eh, me, me brinqué una persona, Silsa Saray. No. Tania Fabiola, present. Present. Tatiana Beatriz. Present. Tatiana Yamilet. Tatiana Yamilet. Tania Jasmine. Present teacher. It's late. Vanessa del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Veronica de Los Angeles. Wil eh, Wilber Alexander. Wilfredo Alberto. Present. Okay. Eh, Sochli. Alexandra. Present. Yanira Marisol. All right. Oh, Yanira, está aquí. Okay. Escuché a Yanira. Ah, Yanira. Okay, very good. Uh, ayer también. Okay. Ayer estuve. Um, uh -huh. Sí, solo que siempre tengo dificultad para ingresar. Ojalá pueda solventar. Okay, very good. Um, sí, porque yo le tengo eh, uno, dos, tres, tres días que si no. En, La tengo ausente. Okay. El, viernes, es, es, el viernes no tenía audio, no me explico por qué. Ah, ok, ok. Bueno, mira, esta es una, un récord que nosotros llevamos como academia, pero lo que Insafor ve es los minutos por minutos que usted estuvo ingresada aquí en la reunión. Eso es lo que ellos ven. Ok. Eh, tienen que asegurarse de estar acá y no faltar por eh, mínimo. Tres días. Traten de no faltar tres sesiones completas porque después sí le, empiece, le, le va a empezar a afectar lo que es los minutos necesarios para llegar a, a pasar el curso. Ok. Very good. Ok. Cualquier pregunta, ahí estamos. Eh, pueden trabajar sección 2, 3 y el examen del midterm. Ok. Very good. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.